So I'm going to be part one of magnetizing the Storm Raven. And what we're going to do first is the Hurricane Bolters. And it took me a while to figure out exactly how I wanted to do it. And there's lots of ways, I'm sure there's going to be several ways to do it, but including putting the backing plate behind it. What I'm going to do though is glue down the doors and just put magnets in the doors. So here's one side I've already done. You can see that's glued on. And here's the Hurricane Bolter has been modified. And it just snaps right into its place. And it's got a pretty good bond on it too, so it's not going anywhere. So let's see how we accomplish that. So first what we're going to do, take the assembled hurricane bolter, and we're going to cut off all these nubs that go into the uh, doors. Make sure you don't cut your fingers while doing this. Okay, and then we take the file and we smooth it down. Okay, now what we need to do is make a notch at the top for the uh, door. So we're just going to kind of line up where it's supposed to be. I'm just going to make some marks. You can use a crayon or marker. I'm just going to use my knife. Sit here and push the knife through a couple times. And then we're going to use the knife blade. So we're going to make a nice straight line just by curving the blade. See if that's deep enough. And I'm going to have to file it out a little bit. Good knife. Push down again, make sure your fingers stay out of the way. Push through the plastic here. on the door. So we're going to file down the edges here a little bit. Just to, when we do it with a knife like that instead of like a, uh, I don't know what they call them, but the things that actually remove a bit of the plastic. Um, so that you have a little poofy edge. So we want to file that down. Actually when these assemble, you won't even really see this hole. So, Okay, and then what we're going to do is kind of this is the best place to glue on the magnets. We're just going to take the knife and try and smooth that out a little bit so it's not quite so curved without cutting through it to give a slightly flatter area for the magnet to glue on. So we're just going to take the some super glue. I'm using a pretty big main. This is a six millimeter by one and a half millimeter. I ended up with the size because they were surplus. KJ has a, from KJ Magnetics, they have a surplus area. So I was able to get these for cheap. And they're really big and powerful. We should only take one to hold this on. And then what I'm going to do is put a magnet on the inside of the door um, as close as possible to the exact right spot. So we're just going to eyeball the middle of the magnet. So we get a pretty good idea of about where the magnet is. So I'm going to glue it on. Make sure it's the same side. Shit. Because it's going to be going through the door. Okay, now I'm going to let that sit there for 30 seconds or so to solidify. Make sure we got the polarity correct. 
we do. So the, now the hurricane bolter just snaps onto the door. I'm going to take the plastic glue and glue the door into the storm raven. Hurricane bolters for the storm raven. And now, in part two, we're going to go on and do the turret weapons.